previous video we have seen CS amplifier with the current source load but the problem with the current source load is that it needs a bias and it's very difficult to supply that bias normally. How can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem by using a diode connected load. A diode connected load is always in the saturation region. So there is no question of keeping it in saturation region or uh, biasing it. If you look into the gain of the CS amplifier with diode connected load, you'll see that the gain is proportional to the square root of W by L of 1 divided by W by L of 2. So it's a ratio of the aspect ratios determine the gain of the amplifier. And this is ob obviously neglecting the body effect. So in LTSPI simulation, I'm going to use 100 micro and 1 micro for NMOS, which is my amplification MOSFET. And for one more NMOS, which is nothing but a diode connected load, I'm going to use 1 micro and 1 micro. So what I am supposed to get with these values is 10 gain. Let's see if this happens. So here we are in LTSPICE. Let's quickly see the values and go through the simulation. Uh, 1 micro and I'll make it 100 micro. Actually, I told you 100 micro. Uh, let me make it correct. My num lock is on. And I'll click on this. And yeah, it is 1 micro and 1 micro. Run the simulation. And I'll click on the output and also click on the input value. Let me add another plot plane and move this over here. And uh, I'll click on, uh, I'll subtract 0 0.5 from that. Yeah, so this is 2 millivolt peak to peak and 10 millivolt peak to peak. Sorry, 20 millivolt peak to peak. I have uh, a 10 volt per volt gain. So you might be asking, how can I increase the gain? Can I directly go and increase the W by L ratio? Let's try doing that. I'll make it 150 and run the simulation again. My gain was 100 and it has, sorry, 10. It has to increase. Yeah, it has increased to 12. And let us see again by increasing the W by L ratio. I'll increase it to 200. Let's see if it increases the gain. I'll run the simulation again. I'll click on output but it hasn't increased the gain what might be the reason our equation says w by l ratio of this uh, mosfet and this mosfet gives me the gain but this is not happening the reason is same as the previous case topologies as we increase the gain of the nmos the device slows down we must remember that if the w becomes larger and larger the device becomes larger and larger that means it becomes wider and wider and this increases the capacitance and thus slows down the device so it's not of so, uh, much use and one more thing that we have to remember that is VDS the, for saturation region. We need to keep the devices in saturation region so that VDS must be greater than or equal to VGS minus VTH. So what is happening over there is nothing but when I increase the W by L ratio, this equation says VD is equal to VDD minus IDRD and ID is proportional to this W by L ratio. As W by L increases, the ID increases. So the VD decreases, but VDS is same as VD because S is grounded. So it becomes lesser and lesser. So what happens is the device enters the triode region. It no longer stays in saturation region. Let's see if it happens in LTSPICE. So let's see by changing this one, 100 to 200, it's already 200. Let's see the VD voltage over here. Okay, Let, I'll click on run and uh, i'm gonna see the voltage vd which is nothing but 66 millivolts which is 0.6 volts but what is vg vg is 0 0.5 volts and vth is 0 0.4 volts as we have given here so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4 is 100 millivolts so this vd is less than vgs minus vth it entered the triode region. How can we solve this problem? I can solve this problem by making this VGS minus VTH as smaller value so that as VD decreases, it still be larger than VGS minus VTH. So I have to decrease this VG value. Now I'm going to make it 0. Point, I cannot make it 0. 0.4 because 0. 0.4 minus 0. 0.4 it cancels out and the device won't turn on, of course. So I'll make it 0. 0.41. Okay, and then run the simulation and I'll click on the output 
I am still getting more gain. So let's increase the double bile ratio of NMOS and see if we get more gain. So I'm going to increase it to 1 milli and uh, let's run the simulation. It must be uh, more than 30. It is 30 times 30 is some 900. It should be more than 30. Let's click on the output. Yeah, it is somewhere around 30. Yeah, this is the gain what we get. It's not affecting at all. So if we click on the VD value, uh, let me move this over another plane. Okay, so the voltage is somewhere around 1.086. We have a lot of chance to increase our W bile ratio before going to triode region now. But we have to remember that once it reaches the triode region, there won't be any gain that we get. But however, in this topology, if we increase the W bile ratio of this device, however, I'm going to slow this device down, which is of not much use. So compared to other devices, it doesn't have the problem of biasing or something, but the problem is the device becomes slower and slower. You have to remember that what we are discussing here is a single stage amplifier. This gain that we get is a cascadable gain. That means I, ha I can have multiple stages and I can, you know, multiply the gain that I get. So that's the advantage. You have to think in that manner also. Just not concentrate on the single stage output. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.